y'all got going on today? Uh, well, Snyder Cut's been out for a couple weeks. Um, after a lot of streaming trouble and trying to find and trying to get it and trying to jailbreak some fire sticks, I was finally able to watch it. I've watched it three times already. Uh, I love the movie. I didn't think the movie was the same movie we got in theaters. I thought it was a lot better. I thought a lot of scenes that we were looking on the first preview of trailer when Zach was kind of teasing us. Uh, I thought we saw all that stuff. I thought Whedon changed up so much and you can see kind of why Ben was like he was and didn't want to play Batman no more just because of how the shooting went. And uh, obviously with Ray Fisher and different aspects, but overall I like the movie. Um, obviously I'm very, I hope to be very happy when we get the Snyder verse restored and we get being solo movie. I'm not giving up hope because after they dropped the theatrical cut and then they dropped the DVD and we didn't get all the bonus, the bonus footage or what we thought we should have got. People just kept believing, kept holding out and it took a while and we ended up getting the movie finally. And I hope that, uh, as you hear Warner Brothers make a statement about, no, they're not moving forward and they're kind of disappointed with the fans and how the fans done. You have to think about who really made this happen. And that was uh, AT&T and definitely with trying to get the uh, HBO Max off the ground and get it running strong. Uh, if you could get the Snyder verse on there, people probably would keep their subscriptions and it probably would be beneficial for everybody. Uh, I see a lot of articles about Ben's considering playing and HBO Max wants Ben movie. They want to keep the Spider Verse in continuation. Uh, you even hear Dwayne Johnson. He's been very, very adamant about he wants to take on Henry, Henry Carvel, Superman. He wants to keep the DCU intact. A lot of people want this and it's going to really take everybody to do it. Like I say, I don't mind spending money if it's something I like, but I don't want to turn around and spend money on, you know, a movie I don't really care to see or want to see to get what I want. So at this point, I'm not really excited about any movies coming out besides Ghostbuster, Black Widow, Halloween Ends, and Godzilla uh, and Kong. So other than that, I'm really not too excited about the, Mar the Marvel out of DC slate. And if something catches my eye, kids want to go see it, maybe. But for me right now, I'm just waiting and um, anticipating, you know, uh, hopefully to get this Snyder verse back going. Like I say, I enjoy the movie. And I know people are going to complain and they're going to say, oh, wow, it was four hours. Man, <laughs> Lord of the Rings is three and a half. Titanic, three and a half. Lawrence of Arabia over four hours Cleopatra over four hours uh, dances with wolves three and some big change so I'm really not buying the fact of the four hour deal because uh, a lot of people have saw movies that are four hours I mean Gone with the Wind four hour flick people love it you don't hear people complain about it so you can kind of Stop trying to look for excuses or ways to down the movie. If you don't like it, you don't support it, that's fine. We know the studio doesn't like it. We know the studio doesn't support it. We know one of the reasons that Zach stepped away from the project was because he just kept arguing with studio executives. He had trouble doing that. He had babysitters on the on the set kind of bird dogging. We even know they didn't want him to shoot new footage and he proceeded to shoot footage in his backyard so we know the problems but i mean four hours if it's worth it like it he's got the movie broken down in a chapter so you can watch a chapter stop come back but i mean if you can sit here and watch gone with the wind and you can watch you know, lord of the rings or something like that titanic titanic is a golden standard I mean, that movie's well, I think, three hours and 30 or 40 minutes, and somebody got in the Guinness Book of World Records for watching it. So, I mean, it's not like it's impossible to watch a four-hour movie. But I liked it. I mean, a lot of people uh, liked it. Uh, a lot of people have commented on social media about it, enjoy it. But I think one thing that bothers me is I saw some comments. It was like when uh, Alfred was working on the uh, gauntlets and the... Uh, 
the power dispersing gauntlet, so to say. And somebody's like, it makes Batman look weak and it makes Alpha look like this. You can't really say that because Bruce only operates with himself, Alfred, and Leslie Tompkins and Lucius Fox. So he only has so many people working on things. He works on things. Lucius works on things. And Alfred does. Bruce still has to make appearances. He still has to travel. He has to go do a job. Then he still has to be Batman. So Alfred is going to pick up a lot of the slack. It's just the way it is. Bruce works on things, but Alfred is. So I, I didn't agree with that. And I didn't agree with the fact that people tend to say that when uh, Cyborg lost his dad, that Batman didn't say nothing. I think he did. And I think they're probably saving that scene for another movie. I think they're probably saving that scene for another movie or probably was saving it for the Cyborg story where Batman just kind of pulls him aside and says, you know, it's going to be OK. You can whatever. But I just don't think that Zack Snyder did not understand Batman. And I don't think he he did that for a reason. I think that was probably going to either be in group in, in another Justice League movie or in a Cyborg solo movie where the conversation was because he lost his pants. But overall, uh, after waiting since 2017, and that's one of the rare movies I only go see one time because I really like a movie. I'm definitely going to go see it multiple times. I mean, I probably saw Don of Justice at least 20, 25 times, not counting the dollar, not dollar movie. And then I had to have it on PlayStation before it came out on DVD. And I got the DVD, uh, the Blu-ray. So, but I thought it was very good. I thought it was crisp. Uh, from start to finish, they putting in uh, changing darks, uh, ch putting in dark side, changing uh, Steppenwolf. They added the side. You finally got to saw Granny Goodness, Martian Manhunter. But it was a tremendous story. A lot of kind of holes that uh, Whedon did was kind of explained. A lot of things happened in a way. That it was more fluid. Obviously, it's plot holes, it's plot holes, and it's not complete. Most movies aren't, just tell you the truth. Even the Avengers, even Marvel movies, some of their movies they leave you kind of like, why they do this, why they do this, but they do the best they can. I think Zach did a tremendous job. I would definitely love to see uh the nightmare, the nightmare, a whole movie about the nightmare. And you definitely want. <sighs> enjoy Batman and Joker on, on the stage. So uh, I would love to see Ben's movie. Ben is actually one of my favorite characters. Uh, I just be honest with you. I liked Michael Keaton's Batman. I thought Christian Bale's Batman was good, but his Batman was more to how Christopher Nolan portrayed him in the story. I did not like either one of his suits and the black does translate well on the big screen, but I think the gray, with the black cow and black cape, black gloves, black boots, I think it works perfect. I would prefer not to see the blue and gray or blue and black, but that's for whatever else somebody wants to do. But I think being suit and I think finally getting to see a Batman that may have been fighting crime for 20 years, not young, gun ho, not in his prime. Some night Ben goes out, some night he doesn't. And it just made... You know, the anger, he's been fighting crime for a while. He has a distaste for it, but Batman is pretty much over overtaking him because Alpha said, you know, you went out to bat and you didn't do nothing. It was Bruce Wayne who got this, and he's pretty much consumed by it now. And it's just kind of good to look at that on film and see, you know, how this guy's affected his life for 20 years. And so I definitely liked his suit. I like Dawn of Justice, and I think the more people start to look back on it, I think the more they can say that it's, it's pretty good. I think it's a classic. I think it's one of the top 100 movies ever made, maybe in the top 50. I ain't going to put it definitely in the top 10 just because of certain things, but I definitely enjoyed the movie. Um, I go see it in the movie theaters now, but I like this movie. I like how they portrayed the characters. Uh, everything was so much better. Flash was better. Cyborg was better. Um, so... You know, just my opinion on the movie. I definitely liked it. I think it's just a lot on the plate that needs to be researched. Like somebody telling you, I don't want you to spend money and they, you're sitting on a gold mine. So, I mean, but we'll see. Just my opinion, guys. Y'all have a good day. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, comment. 
And uh, let's try to see if we can restore the Snyderverse. Thank you.